Support Wrestle Talk. Give us a subscribe. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I am Luke Owen. On last Sunday's WWE No Mercy, Cesaro decided to take his Swiss cyborg name literally by melding his face with the video poster around ringside. It didn't go so well. And the former Raw Tag Team Champion spent the rest of the match with blood pouring down his face and assumed broken teeth. However, WWE.com are now reporting that his teeth weren't broken, but pushed up inside his jaw. The next step is for him to see a mathematical surgeon today, most likely removing the teeth and then having some implants made. So hopefully we will have him up and running after Tuesday or so. Impressively, Cesaro continued the match for another 10 minutes after the injury. And former WWE and TNA slash GFW star Matt Morgan revealed on Wrestling Inc's podcast that the Swiss Superman received a standing ovation when he got backstage. And Cesaro isn't the only person who worked a match with a pretty nasty injury. With Michael Cole announcing on WWE Raw last night that Jeff Hardy is currently on the sidelines due to a shoulder injury he suffered during the six pack challenge on last week's show. WWE.com have added that the injury is a torn rotator cuff and that Hardy will be going in for surgery on October 3rd with no time frame on when he'll be back in the ring. Dave Mel Walter on Wrestling Observer Radio noted that Jeff had actually injured himself at Great Balls of Fire in July during the Hardys Tag Team Championship match with Sheamus and Cesaro, and he's been working with the injury ever since. Which you may remember came after the Payback pay-per-view when Sheamus kicked one of Jeff Hardy's teeth out of his mouth. What is it with this team and teeth? No Mercy also saw the WrestleMania caliber match between Roman Reigns and John Cena, with the big dog pinning the 16-time champion in a passing of the torch moment. After the match, Cena stood in the ring in a moment reminiscent of The Undertaker at this year's WrestleMania, with the crowd chanting, Thank you, Cena, as if he was leaving for good. On Raw Talk, following the pay-per-view, Cena spoke about the idea of retiring, noting that while he's not done with WWE, he can no longer commit to the full-time schedule. I'm 40 years old, and I have 15 years of track experience here in the WWE, and not as at a normal level, at an elite level, and I don't know how much longer I can keep it up. So I guess I'll be like a weird Batman character. When they shine the light, I'll come a-running. But when that light will shine is anyone's guess. Cena is currently heading off to the set of Transformers spin-off Bumblebee, he's reportedly up for the lead superhero role in the Shazam movie, and tracking board have revealed Cena will star opposite Kumail Nanjiani in a buddy cop movie directed by Ruben Fleischer. It had previously been reported that Cena would return for the Royal Rumble to face Jinder Mahal for the WWE Championship, but Brian Alvarez noted on the Brian and Vinny show that he could be gone for longer. I'm sure Vince knows and the top guys, but the majority of the WWE locker room apparently thinks he's done, and no one knows when he'll be back. They presume he'll be back for Mania season. What is the big news coming out of Raw? And are the Shield getting back together for TLC? Click the videos to the left to find out more. Press subscribe and support WrestleTalk on Patreon. I have been Luke Owen and that was wrestling.